Welcome, everybody. It's a beautiful summer day of early spring. Uh, we are in DC. Um, welcome, everybody that is online. Uh, we have a few things to say before we start with Anjan Chatterjee. Um, first, I would like to uh, introduce our Dean, Mark Ferguson, who will welcome everybody from the school perspective. Thank you. Thank you, Julio, and uh, welcome to everyone. Welcome to the Catholic University of America. Um, I'm pleased to see students, faculty, guests, and our 21 speakers here in the audience. Uh, we have a very big international audience, over 200. Most of them are joining us online, uh, but it's great to see the room is uh, full. It's my privilege to be the host for this symposium. I'm honored to have some of the world's leading scholars in the subject we're gonna be talking about with us for the next few days. It's really essential to the life of our community here to have new voices in the school. And it's vital to creating the learning environment that is our business. I wanna thank our staff and our students for managing the logistics for this event. It seems all very easy and convenient uh, when you're a guest, but when you're behind the scenes, it's quite an undertaking and I really appreciate all of their help. I wanna thank Professor Julio Bermudez, who is a much admired and respected colleague here at the school for conceiving and producing the symposium. I'm sure this came to his mind five years ago. So this is something been percolating for a long time. And to make it happen, he secured the support of the Templeton Religion Trust. For 12 years, Professor Bermudez has worked at the school to raise our awareness of the relationship between architecture and spirituality. He's also found the time to co-found and serve as president of the Architecture, Culture, and Spirituality Forum, an international forum. At the school, he's the director of the annual Walton Critic Program. This program brings distinguished guest critics and students together to probe some of the most important questions we face as human beings, and as designers of human habitation. The program's captured in a beautiful new book, Spirituality and Architectural Education. I encourage all of you to get one. His teaching and scholarship have been recognized with several important national and international awards. He makes us all proud. The agenda for the next couple of days is jam-packed. It promises many fruitful conversations. I'm glad to see that panel discussions following all the lectures is part of our format. So let's begin. Thank you, Mark. You're too generous. Thank you very much. Um, I think, of course, you know, you kind of start this without giving thanks. And uh, I will maybe repeat some of the thanks that Mark. Um, the first thanks is to the Templeton Religion Trust. Uh, without their support, none of this could happen. Uh, so thank you for the trust in doing research that is very uh, pilot. <laughs> and it could blow in our face. And yet that's how the, the new ages of science happen in risk taking. Uh, as important, I want to thank every single one of you, the panelists and the speakers for trusting uh, CUA and myself to be here today. Some of you have traveled from, from long, long distance, Denmark and Italy and so on, Scotland. And uh, without you, this would not be possible. So thank you for your, your trust and being here. Um, of course, thanks to the administration, Dean Ferguson, and, and I want to thank particularly Paula Riff and uh, uh, Lorenzo D'Ameda and Christian Morales, but he's still working someplace. Um, I mean, this is just impossible to, to handle without their help. Uh, uh, also, my uh, colleague, uh, uh, Amir Abadi, uh, that uh, so my right hand here at the school doing research on my uh, three research assistants that you probably saw, Juliana Kegel, uh, Nick Dendy, and Matthew Cernis. Uh, thank you, and they are sacrificing not be here to continue supporting this. And a special thanks to Yoshi Nakamura. Uh, Yoshi has been my research partner since my time in Utah 13, 14 years ago, 15 years ago now. So this was conceived with uh, Yoshi. Yoshi deserves as much credit as myself on this. And maybe the most thank of all is to God. That's the biggest thing of all. However, we conceive that divine or non-divine oneness or whatever you want, we owe that uh, possibility of being all together here. So I want to, to do that. 
anybody that needs AIA credits for the symposium, please approach me and uh, we'll, um, we'll take care of that. Uh, if you are registered, don't worry, I'll take care of that, but I will need your number. So uh, having said so, let me quickly, before I introduce Anjan, give a little bit of context where the symposium takes place. Um, so it makes a little bit of sense. Can we use today's and future empirical means to raise our understanding of the phenomenology of sacred spaces and structures, particularly in relation to spirituality and faith? The work and thought of late neurology, the neuroscientist Francisco Varela loom large here, but much has occurred since then, uh, his passing. Additionally, uh, due to the focus of the program funded by the Templeton Religion Trust, which is art seeking understanding, we'll consider connection to what has been termed aesthetic cognitivism by some philosophers such as uh, Gordon Graham, who actually will join us. He's probably coming from the train station that you see there, and also uh, Christoph Baumberger. And of course, the inside of theological aesthetic, uh, Richard is here, he will also discuss that. Um, that brings all this conversation to a larger, uh, larger discussion uh, and scholarly area. A remarkable group of people that I'm honored to have today, um, whose work and thought has significantly advanced uh, this new area of scholarship and research are participating in this uh, symposium. And they come from various disciplines, from uh, psychology, philosophy, neuroscience, theology, medicine, computer science, the visual arts, music, and of course, our love, uh, love life uh, of architecture, right? Such broad interdisciplinarity will allow us to view and interrogate the intersection of spirituality and the built environment from first, second, and third person perspectives. And lastly, this meeting won't be so much about listening to great lectures, or although we'll have some, uh, but more importantly, I think, and that's a hope, is to uh, exchange and explore and argue ideas and questions and methodologies and findings. Uh, we would like to, uh, to think that, uh, that after each conversation, each lecture, uh, we'll continue uh, investigating the most significant uh, paradigmatic issues associated with harnessing 21st century knowledge, science, science and scholarship. <clears throat> 